This video is sponsored in part by Well People. What is up guys, welcome back. Today is a very exciting day for me and that is because we are revisiting a brand that I used to talk about quite a lot on my channel. It is Well People. Well People is a company that I got very familiar with when I was living in Austin. They had a beautiful HQ there that I would go to events at and stuff like that. I've always really appreciated their clean beauty and during 2019 I tried pretty much their whole line but I admit, I have had other things on my radar for a very long time since then and they reached out to me and asked if I would want to help them kind of announce their reformulation, repackaging, a little bit of like a facelift upgrade for their brand. And if you're unfamiliar with Well People, they're sold at like Target. They're sold on Ulta. This is an affordable clean beauty brand and while I liked their formulas before, these are knock it out of the park luxurious and we've talked about this in the past but like the clean beauty aesthetic where everything just looks really effortless and has that beautiful kind of mineral finish to it that is what we're working with today so i'm gonna move you guys in i'm gonna be using you know other things in my collection to fill in the gaps because this stuff is actually kind of hard to get your hands on right now or at least it was for me but i'm excited to share it with you guys so let's go ahead and jump in hi i have been really eager to see what my new haircut looked like curled. And this is the first time that I have done it and I dig it. It's very like full, feels really healthy. In fact, it's so healthy, it doesn't really wanna hold a curl like it used to, which is really funny. Anyway, the first thing here is a primer and I'm just gonna show you guys the way that the packaging has kind of been upgraded, right? So it's all in this beautiful, very clean white packaging. This is the bronzer. I had never tried this before. So we're gonna start with this Bio Brightener Priming Serum. Their whole Bio Brightener line has always been something I've enjoyed. It does a little bit more than you expect it to. It's kind of greater than the sum of its parts. I actually <laughs> haven't used this one yet though. So this will be a little bit of a first impression. Look how pretty that is. It's like a little bit glowy. Ooh, okay, so it's really thin, hydrating. Reminds me of the Thrive or the Vesca. The way that it's just that nice drink of water feeling for your skin. Mm. We will do like a quick run through of all the prices once I get all this on. Oh my goodness, mm. yeah, no, they call this a priming serum and it's like really moisturizing. <laughs> it feels awesome actually. <laughs> So the uh, the finish on my skin is kind of a little bit pearly, but not, you know, not glittery or anything. <laughs> that was necessary. That feels really good. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Lisa Eldridge foundation on top of that. I think that this line works well with like just about any way you want to wear your makeup because it is mostly if not all powder but I have found that it works really well with like a self-setting foundation like the Lisa Eldridge because it just gives that like perfect balance of natural dewiness and also that like mineral blurring. I hope I do a good job of showing it. And they sent me this buffing brush here and this is for my foundation here. So yeah, my history with Well People has always been really lovely. They have thrown some really beautiful events in Austin where I got to meet some just lovely other creators. And they've always just had a really like, I don't know, like a positive vibe about them. Like you go in the store in the domain in Austin and the people are just so freaking nice and so excited about the products. And they've just always kind of held a special place in my heart. At the time, I don't think that they were sold at Target. And I was just so excited to see that they were sold at Target and also at Ulta. We're gonna do a little concealer moment. I'm gonna use my Tarte C Hydro Sealer. It has been a little bit more of an accurate match for me lately because I'm getting paler. Yeah, I like this brush a lot. It's really, really soft. It is a little bit of like a duo fiber, I'm pretty sure. And so it blends really easily. So because those are self-setting, I don't really mess with a powder. So I'm gonna go straight in with this bronzer. So this is the Super Powder Bronzing Powder in the shade Golden Hour. And I saw this and I was like, hmm, is that gonna be too deep for me? But it actually has such a beautiful finish to it. It's not highly, highly pigmented. And so you have 
time and opportunity to work with it on the skin and the neutral kind of undertone to it means that when it's building, it doesn't get too orange on me. So it's actually perfect. I'm gonna go with this big fat brush here and just tippity tap that on. So like I dipped my brush pretty hard in there and just tapping it, which I would always do because I didn't, you know, set with any kind of powder. It goes on really, really evenly. And like I said, you know, it's not, it's not gonna like stamp and get crazy on you really quickly. But it is a deep enough shade that it could build up on a lot of different skin tones. And again, that's golden hour. I do tend to get a little carried away with this. Like rightly so, I feel like it just adds this really healthy glow to my face. And so <laughs> it's like, some is good, more is better. Plus the translucence of my complexion for this look, my freckles show through. And I feel like adding a little bit of like a bronzy tan or maybe more bronzy tan than I typically would on top where I can see my freckles looks even more believable. And they did send me this really pretty setting mist. And so once I get all this powder on and I can set it, it all just kind of like blurs and melts down together. Yeah, see, <laughs> I just kind of, I just kind of check out and keep going. That to me is the sign of a really good bronzer formula and a really good bronzer shade for me is just that like, I can just kind of keep going with it and I can do it mindlessly because it's not, it's just not going to get me in trouble. You know, I'm not gonna look phony. I think a lot of times we tend to think that, you know, the more pigmented something is, the more quality it is, but I think the more easy to use something is the higher quality it is. So it really depends, right, on the, like the color balanced with the formula. And I feel like this is an excellent balance. It really mimics the shade of my freckles too. So it's not making anything look gray. I have a lot of good things to say about that bronzer. <laughs> okay, so next, Look at this, what is on my nose? A little tiny fiber can wrap itself around my nose ring <laughs> and ruin my life. Okay, so this is the prettiest little powder palette face trio. This is in Empowerment. So we have a matte bronzer, a really pretty kind of, you know, mineral reflective blush, and then a really pretty highlighter. Let me swatch those. They're actually really velvety feeling. And that's what those look like. Again, just the right amount of pigment in my opinion. So you can really build them and have control. And even that bronzer being matte, quote unquote, it has just that really pretty mineral factor to it that blurs on the skin. All right, taking a smaller brush, going in with this beautiful blush. And you see, I'm not even tapping my brush off. If you don't have to like worry too much about stamping or, you know, like tediously placing color, you feel like you can just kind of go into a flow state, putting your makeup on. It happens really fast. And it's also just like a more fun experience, right? When you don't have to think too hard about it. And that's how all these products are. And it's funny cause like I have only recently started using really, really <laughs> expensive luxury products. And it's funny how like middle of the prestige price range, you get into these formulas that have so much pigment to them and then as you kind of like get through the middle and you get into like the really, really high end stuff, the pigmentation kind of drops back down again. And it's because it's like a more easy to use, less, less artistry oriented, but also so much more beginner friendly kind of formulas and formulas that work on a lot more skin maturities because they're less likely to accentuate texture and things like that. And that is how this feels. This feels a lot like those luxury formulas that kind of have that really beautiful blurring texture without being sparkly. And so they're super, super user friendly, like very, very like beginner friendly formulas, but also the payoff feels really luxurious. So that is that lovely blush. And you guys know, I will probably end up doing more, <laughs> but I do like that it gives me time. And I will also go in same brush with a little bit of this highlight because the highlight is actually a lot of uh, pigment. And by pigment, I mean like you see a lighter shade on the skin more than it is sparkly. You know, it's got a reflective quality, but it's not giving me eyeshadow vibes, if that makes sense, you know? It's hard to describe highlighters, but 
yeah, it's just a really, really nice layering kind of highlighter. It's a little bit, it's kind of like a highlighter colored blush, if that makes sense. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of the blush and just blend that right on top. And since we have this kind of slightly deeper shade, I'm gonna swatch the two bronzers next to each other so that you guys kind of see here. So here's the bronzer from the palette. And then here is the bio bronzer. So you can see the one from the palette is more matte and also a little bit cooler and more saturated. So I'm gonna use that one to contour, just gently, you know, a little tippy tap here and there. Especially when you're dealing with things that have a little bit more reflection or a little bit less reflection, it's kind of fun to play with those textures a little bit because the little tiny subtlety is actually really noticeable. So that bronzer being slightly more matte than the bronzer in the compact alone, you know, it gives me a more believable shadow because it's not reflective at all. But because it works so well on top of kind of a self-setting foundation and like a low coverage complexion, situation, I do feel like no matter how much I put on, it's still gonna look really, really natural because you can still see my freckles, you can still see kind of the natural contours of my face. I don't have to recreate them. Okay, the next thing is this. This is the Power Palette eyeshadow palette in taupe and it is so pretty. And what I really, really like about this is the mixture of warm and cool. So you have warm shades in the brown and then like a cool shade right there in the middle that's gonna be great for a transition kind of crease shade. And then both of those lighter shades, one of them is a shimmery one that's a little bit more peach and then the matte of the fairest shade there is a little bit yellow leaning, which works beautifully as a highlight that really pops, even though it's not super, super shimmery. So you have really great options here. And what I also love is that these two are almost the same shade, except just different textures. And so you can really, really play with a smoky eye and get the best of both worlds there. So I'm actually just going to start with that one. It's so gorgeous. It reminds me a lot of the texture and the shade of the Ilia Cool Palette, that one uh, kind of burgundy shade. It might be a little bit um, more neutral though, less, less burgundy. And I'm going to go all over my lid with that. These stick too. They really stick, it's awesome. Like when you're kind of putting them on with your finger, you can feel them commit and they really stay put and you kind of keep that beautiful reflective quality. So this is just a really fast way, right? To get the color down. <laughs> you can finesse all of the shape after that, but like, I don't need to sit there with a brush and tediously stamp this on my lids when I know that I just want it all over my lid, you know? So they sent me this great little brush right here. It is small, like it's smaller than, like here's my Wayne Goss like crease blending brush. And then this is the one for, I love the shape of this too, from Well People. And it's just, it's phenomenally precise. So I can actually go underneath my eye with this. I'm gonna dip that little dome right there. And I always lean forward when I do this, so it's hard to see, sorry. But I do that so that I don't get any fallout anywhere else with any shadow. And it looks goofy at first. Honestly, a smoky eye always looks really, really insane for like the first 75% of doing it. You just have to trust the process. Going in with the matte version of that shade and that's gonna basically make this look a little more intentional, right? You don't really see the difference in the textures there, but what your eye perceives is the fact that that is a believable illusion where if I were to bring the shimmery version all the way out, it might kind of like reflect in a weird way. So it's really, really informed to have a matte and a shimmer. Building my shape here. But look how obedient those are. Look how cooperative they are. especially talking about like mineral clean beauty formulas for eyeshadows. I've been very disappointed in the past with brands that cost a lot more than well people because they're just like, oh, you know, the formula is so clean. And it's like, okay, but if it doesn't perform, who cares, you know? Don't give me a subpar formula. And this is just a very luxurious, easy to use formula. I always kind of pull that matte shape out and upward right here. That's kind of the natural shape of my eye anyway, but it tends to get lost if I don't. 
accentuate it like that. And I am gonna take a bigger brush and blend the rest, you know? So I'm gonna go with this yellow creamy color right here. That's gonna be up here. And I'm also gonna use that to kind of clean up in here. For me, things tend to get kind of muddy, whoops, around my inner corner because it's just a hard area for me to access. So I always rely on a light shadow to kind of go in and clean up. And then I'm gonna take the shimmery peachy shade here and that's gonna go right there, blend in between the two. Once it's down, you can still blend it. Like that's just so nice for me because I feel like I can breathe. There's something so frustrating sometimes about like super, super professional formulas because it's like, man, if you make one mistake. All right, so I'm gonna take that kind of cooler tone. It's almost like an olive compared to the rest of them, tan color. And I'm gonna use that right in the crease that does a really good job of being a transition shade for me. I'm gonna kind of touch back where I knocked the shine off that brown. Pull that in a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab that little brush that they sent me, dip it into that shimmery shade, and that's what I'm gonna use on my inner corner here. Very effective, but also not super icy, so it's not stealing the show, you know? When you're finishing a smoky eye, the best thing to do is, you know, because you've been kind of like contorting and like moving to different angles and everything, look directly into the mirror when you're finishing it. You know, that's where you can finesse your symmetry, make sure things just look right to your eye kind of thing. So aside from our setting mist, that is it for the well people. So I'm going to do my brows and everything and I will be right back with you and we will hit this with a setting mist and we will go through the product offering and then my final thoughts. So I will be right back. So I did my eyeliner, my mascara, my brows. I added a little bit more blush and a little bit more bronzer. And, oh, my lip, I did a little lip gloss moment. So the last step here is the Do Your Makeup Mist, three-in-one mist to prime, set, and refresh. And that is, that is what she looks like. Lovely. Mm, very refreshing feeling and not super scented. It's got a little bit of like a lavender thing to it, but that's it. Let that set for a second and I'm gonna move y'all out and we can chat all about the new releases. Okay, let's see if I can do this without my glasses because I definitely forgot them. <laughs> well People, which is W3LLPeople.com, but if you type in Well People, it'll redirect. As far as the products that we used on my face today, which by the way, did I lie? It came together so fast. And usually when you think about something that comes together really fast, it's like a no makeup, makeup thing, five steps, whatever. This is a look and it's a look that I love. <laughs> it's like really, really pretty in fall and I could go daytime or I feel like I could wear this to like a nice dinner or something. And it was just so like fast and effortless because the formulas are so cooperative. Okay, so the Do Your Makeup Mist, this is $15. Prime sets and refreshes skin and makeup. The buffing brush that I used is $24. The eye crease blending brush is $15. These do feel really, really good. The Power Palette eyeshadow palette is $19. This face trio is $20. The beautiful bronzer, also $20. And the Bio Brightener Priming Serum was $25. That's this one right here. And you get 1.75 ounces of that. So let's chat final thoughts here, guys. I definitely would never share something with you guys in a sponsored video if I didn't love it, you know? So I think it's kind of a spoiler when we start off with a partnership because it means that I'm going to really love everything that I'm showing you. But I think that the main reason that I was excited to share this with you today is because there is a demand, right, for higher end at the drugstore, things that have more consideration when it comes to the ingredients, things that have more consideration when it comes to the way that they wear the color stories and the actual aesthetic of them. And there's just something elevated about Well People that I've always really enjoyed. And I have really liked their formulas in the past, but I'm extra impressed now. When I opened this box up, I was like, all right, we'll see. And then I used it all and I was like, I emailed them back. I was like, yes, absolutely 150%, not only is this such a beautiful face of makeup, but it was so 
easy. Like that's worth my money all day long. And I take it very, very seriously. The fact that parting with your dollar in any amount is meaningful. And I hope that I have given you a really accurate understanding of what these formulas perform like, because the best ways that I can describe them is that they are easy, luxurious, they blend really easily, and they are the right amount of pigmentation, I feel like, for being very, very beginner friendly. So the beauty of this also is that you can go to your local Target and take a look at these things in your hands. You don't just have to like, you know, buy them sight unseen or just trust my advice or whatever. But I can definitely vouch for the reformulations of these products. And it is so nice. Like, yes, Clean Beauty is always going to be a little bit higher priced at the drugstore than other things, but I mean, for the bio brightener that I've had for years now, probably, you know, it's probably expired, but like it has taken me forever to get through that. This is an abundance of product and these are really, really beautiful uh, formulas that are for a low maintenance makeup routine that is also incredibly beautiful and impactful. Like that's what I like so much about this look, especially that eyeshadow it's definitely still really, really pretty, you know? And I feel like it's that kind of look where somebody sees you and they're just like, oh, she's just got that effortless thing going. Like, how is she doing that? And over and over again, I've heard in my comments, it called just like the clean beauty aesthetic. And it has to do with just looking like you have put the right touches in the right places. And this makes it really, really easy. So I do want to thank Well People for sending me these products and for partnering with me for this video, for even thinking of me for this video, because I have been kind of, you know, a friend of the brand for a long time, I feel like, but it has been a minute. But also I'm going to, on my own dime, you know, pick up probably the rest of the makeup items that I didn't get to try today, as soon as I can find them in stock somewhere. And I will give you guys, you know, updates on those as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys found this valuable. This is just such like a fun face of makeup for me. That's just like instant top shelf. And it's just so nice to be able to offer things that aren't crazy expensive. So if you guys found this valuable, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you did. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next time. Bye.